Hi, I'm Luna Anna. Thank you for coming to watch my video. I appreciate every single one of you and I love all of you for coming and spending this time with me. I really appreciate it and thank you for all the likes and the comments and the shares as well. So as always, I'm here to assist the planet with ascension. Often I speak about healing the patriarchy, but today I'm just coming to speak about something slightly different. So I just wanted to speak a bit about the current energy. So we've got this um, wonderful super full moon in Pisces today or tonight. And it looked magnificent last night. I had a real spectacular view of it. I just am really lucky where I am. There's no light pollution and there's fields out the back of my flat where I live. And I got to see a wonderful display with the moon last night. So we've got a wonderful display because it's super moon, so it's closer to Earth. But we're also going through some really difficult times with the energy from this moon. And I know a lot has been said about it being Pisces, which is a very dreamy and intuitive sign. And so it's about, you know, um, dreams coming true and miracles. And I've seen lots of this, you know, and, and a lot about change as well. That People have been writing a lot about change. And I just wanted to come on and give a little bit of my insight on it and what my awareness is picking up regarding the energies from this moon that I haven't seen written about or spoken about anywhere else. So I just wanted to come and share it with you all. And this is a little bit as well about kind of what's happening in my own personal life and I can kind of tie it into what's happening overall on the planet at this time. So I don't know how it's been for you and let me know in the comments because I would love to hear how you're experiencing the moon and what it's been like for you. And, you know, if you are manifesting miracles, it'd be great to hear about those. And if you're not, you know, and it's not been that easy for you, you can feel free to share that as well because, you know, it's all welcome. <laughs> so um, I am finding that with this Pisces moon, you know, the sign of Pisces, you often get to see the two fish, don't you? And they're kind of like flying around the sea. Like the way fish do, sometimes they leap, don't they? It's kind of like that. And I think that, you know, what I'm finding with um, this moon is that it's got that kind of energy. So what's happening is, yes, there's the dreamy side of Pisces. And so some people are in a very dreamy space and things that feel very floaty and and quite intuitive and maybe quite feminine and they're in that kind of flow and that's wonderful but then the flip side of the fish so there's like the two sides of the fish kind of like the dark side because every sign has a dark and a light side I find and the kind of like the dark side is kind of that of um, fears and nightmares because it's kind of the opposite of dreams so what's happening is you know often we manifest our dreams through living through our nightmares I don't know if you, that's happened for, to you in your life. And I'm not saying that's the only route, you know, or that's the way that we have to manifest dreams because it's absolutely not. But often it is the way that we manifest dreams. <laughs> often we have to work through, you know, a ton of trauma that was kind of blocking us from having the dream as our reality. And until we work through that trauma, it doesn't become our reality because it's just kind of fears and doubts and things like that can stand in the way between you and what what's your dream what your dream outcome is and what's happening now is collectively we're kind of clearing that kind of um fears and the nightmare type stuff as part of this pisces moon and until we've done that we're not going to maybe really get to the flip side which is the manifesting dreams bit also, what I'm finding is that the current energy of our times is that we are since the, uh, you know, what gets called the Lion's Gate portal, which for me, um, I don't really necessarily align with Lion's Gate portal as such, but I think, you know, the energy of the kind of like the harvest, you know, kind of um, the first harvest in August kind of thing. Um and I call it sorting the wheat from the chaff. So, you know, sometimes what you harvest is what you want. Sometimes it's a disaster. You know, sometimes crops fail, that kind of thing. Um, the energy of that has basically collectively collapsed timelines in our world, which means that, you know, um, pathways that our souls had kind of put us on are now kind of collapsing. And then we're kind of... Um, 
converging and coming together at different points and all of that hasn't quite fully happened yet and I, I don't know how long it will take it might take many years or maybe even lifetimes or maybe it will happen really fast because I guess it depends how quickly we're all willing to kind of do what we need to do to get to those places. But what's happening is the old timelines are collapsing and the old timelines, of course, contain all of our old systems. You know, the things that are tired and we're bored of them and we're sick of them and we're raging about them and we've been complaining about them probably for aeons. <laughs> Nothing has happened. <laughs> you know, those kind of things, you know, like banking systems, um, the way billionaires don't pay tax, <laughs> those kind of things. Um, you know, even things like systems like the education system isn't really serving us now you know our children are being born very enlightened and they need a different um, approach to education possibly we all have always needed a different approach to education but kind of now more of us are waking up and we have more sensitivities and awareness we kind of know about that now and we can see it and we can do things about it and things are happening I know to change those things but I'm talking about, you know, really big change and kind of, you know, it just isn't going to match the frequency anymore on the planet. And that's wonderful. And that's because so many people have been facing themselves. And, you know, in particular, I think um, kind of the realisation that this was happening came online for, you know, collectively. I think many of us have been working on it for a long time previous to the pandemic. But once the pandemic came and everybody was kind of placed um, into facing mortality, I think that was a huge trigger for everybody suddenly kind of healing and, you know, reviewing their lives and maybe starting self-development if they're not into healing, that kind of thing. I mean, everybody's got different ways of going about this. And what's happened from there is we've kind of now come to this point, this um, meeting point, if you like, this moment where all of these old timelines now cannot withstand the light, that is, the quotient of light that is now on this planet because lots of us have been working through our darkness, in other words, our traumas and our fears. And this moon is kind of like a big, let's really clear that out so that we can all go forward as much as possible. And this is just the beginning of the descent into what will be um, a big autumn winter. And when I say a big autumn winter, I am talking about healing. You know, autumn winter, if you're a healer or a sensitive person or empath, or again, if you're into personal development or you're just aware, you're just a person that, you know, is conscious and sees things and has like a level of awareness, then you will notice that in autumn winter, there's a lot that you kind of... Um, have to let die off and you go through quite a deep process and I know sometimes it can be grueling um, past few winters have been particularly grueling for me and I know for many people that I know lots of friends and loved ones have had the same experience those kind of winters though are brilliant because the more work the more you dig in in autumn winter and the more you allow things to leave that aren't a match and the more you allow yourself to resolve through things and the more you embrace whatever has life is giving you in that moment even if it's painful or inconvenient or difficult um chaotic maybe i know it can be all those things together sometimes and i know that's really difficult when it's like that you know, if we get into those moments and we really let things clear out and we don't stand in the way and we don't try and stop it, we don't try and distract ourselves, we don't try and fix it because that's just another bypass, you know, um, kind of, I know, I know, I know, I'll go and sit with it, yeah. And there's nothing wrong with sitting with things. Sometimes we need to do that, you know, and sometimes we do need to meditate on things. But sometimes that can become a trick of the ego. The ego will hijack absolutely anything that you use to support yourself. So you need to be really aware of that and kind of checking in whether, you know, sitting with everything is necessary or whether some things can just be resolved in the moment by life itself, not by you trying to fix something or trying to interfere, but by letting life itself resolve it for you. That is really hard when it's our deep fears and that is where we're at now with this Pisces moon. 
So I know for me personally, God, some of the things that have been happening have been like living in my own personal horror movie. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, like a psychological thriller that is, you know, I'm the star of. <laughs> And I don't want to be because it's really, really horrible and very frightening. And, you know, I had a, like a, what I hope was a peak experience of that last night. I hope it was the peak anyway. Because, <laughs> um, you know, I won't give the details about it because it's personal. But something happened to me last night that was absolutely terrifying. Um, and I, you know, I couldn't settle my nervous system and I haven't been able to settle it today either after it and I just know though that I'm being asked to hold fear you know we often we try and run away from fear don't we because we're frightened of fear <laughs> oh the joys of being human we're frightened of fear you know but there's nothing to be frightened of with fear fear doesn't manifest things in your life feeling fear doesn't um doesn't mean that you'll feel more of it doesn't mean that you'll attract more of what's frightening Feeling it is just a way of loving yourself, actually. And last night I tried to run from this thing. I mean, I, I did actually have to, you know, I had to kind of put in a level of protection in this situation that happened. But then afterwards I was like, oh, I could have held myself through the fear. I could have just let the fear be. So I was like, afterwards I was like on YouTube watching videos to try and calm down. <laughs> because <laughs> it was so scary and I think you know um, we don't always have to do that we don't always have to be interfering we don't always have to be looking for a way to transcend the experience you know like um, for example you might say something like oh I'm letting that go and that often not always but often can be another way in which we try and transcend what's happening because the truth is when something is ready to leave your experience it will leave of its own accord. And it's not you that lets it go anyway. It's a higher power that lets it go on your behalf when it's time. And I think, you know, that is one of the lessons of this Pisces moon that's coming in. It's kind of um, the discernment to know when we need to do something and when we just need to be something. And it's kind of these flipping fish. So it's, you know, the, um, the flipping of the roles all the time so you might feel like one moment you're living in a psychological thriller that you don't want to be in like me last night or you know you might be living your wonderful life and feeling like everything's wonderful and then you might flip again to a horror movie and it's kind of this fish flipping thing like the spi um, spices pisces <laughs> sign not the spices though i bet they can be spicy at times <laughs> um yeah so that's what i was picking up, up on with this moon and that's kind of the current energies of this time that i'm picking up on i'd love to hear what you're picking up on and what your take is on everything so please you know feel free to leave comments and let me know and uh, get involved in a chat over it i'd love that Okay, darling, so I hope this helps you. I hope it's enlightening and I'm sending you lots and lots of love. And I will put down in the comments, um, you know, where you can find me on social media. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. And I have my own podcast, which is called Healing the Patriarchy with Love, that is available on all major platforms. So you can get that on um apple spotify google amazon that kind of thing if you just do a search you'll find it i think some of them are on audible as well so um yeah so you can just find it by looking for healing the patriarchy with love and on there i celebrate people who are healing the patriarchy with love so are being the change that we wish to see in the world so there's lots of great people on there and lots of topics that i'm sure you'll love and the other thing is I do have a shop where I sell meditations and transmissions of light that you can download and listen to and um, receive healing from those. And the, I've deliberately made them so that kind of like you can download them and every time you listen to them, you will get something different. So it's a real kind of transmission of energy. So, you know, if you've ever had that before, that each time it's different, even when it's kind of the same energy, <laughs> it's kind of gives you a different blessing every time. So I've deliberately made them like that and prices start from as little as £7. So I will also put the link to the shop in my comments as well and you'd be more than welcome to go over there and have a look and to buy some. Okay darlings, take care now. Lots of love. Bye.